Hello. Do you reckon it's physically possible to take a sh** while running? Well, I guess that depends on your definition of sh**. What do you mean? Well, are we talking about you know, just a liquid discharge, or are we so talking about something you know a bit more chunky, you know, a bit more of a solid composition? I'd be impressed with either accomplishment. No, no, the question demands a definition. All right. Well, I guess a solid can only really be defined as the opposite of a liquid, and vice versa. But the definitions are relevant. Ooh, I guess you'd agree with the old Confucian proverb that. Men who stand on toilet seat, not necessarily high on pot. Oi, did you know in Wagga Wagga, New South Wales? No, no, it's Wagga Wagga. Whatever. It's legal to beat your wife with a leather belt, so long as it isn't over two inches wide. What have you been reading, you strange little child? Cosmo. Wait, this guy, Christopher Vane of Michigan, died after stabbing himself twice in the upper torso whilst trying to frame his neighbour. Whatever. 15 year old high school girl died. Yeah. She applied an excessive amount of fake tan, suffocated her by clogging the pores. All right, stop. Too much Ripley's has fried your tiny little brain. Nah. She's dead. Did you know that in Indonesia the penalty for masturbation is decapitation? Right, just stop. Just get a life. Your entire existence is based on some subconscious creation. Did you know that it's not illegal to fictionalise events or laws of foreign countries? Look, that's my point entirely. Or was it mine? Fran walked out the other day, told me to f myself. Well, that's pretty much the obvious outcome of being single. Yeah, it's true. She meant it as an insult, but it was more just a statement of the obvious. Uh, Strange phenomenon, the word. Always helpful in a crisis of vocabulary. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you can use it as an insult or a compliment. Exaggerate something. Uh. Diminish something. Or you can use it just to describe a person, place or thing. Yeah. Or whatever the f*** you're doing. <laughs> Gnarly. <laughs> I like it. You want that? Yeah, that's right. And a quarter pound of cheese, please. Oh, cool. Golf balls. No, acorns. Whatever. Acorns. They're acorns. I'm such a dumb. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh. 
I'd like to thank Jesus Christ for religion. What? Well, there'd be no good holidays without him. Oh, look. Look, Easter, guilt-free chocolate. Christmas always means presents. I mean, Australia Day? It just doesn't compare. I think you're missing the point. Just a little bit there, Mr. Aquinas. No. I've thought about it. Oh, he's thought about it. Look, JC was a big party man. Water into booze, it's like pure genius. Easter's on the longest weekend. The guy nailed it on a Friday. Look, just stop thinking. You're not getting anywhere. You're a dumbass. And bad things will happen to you because you are a dumbass. Appropriating characteristics to enrich my identity. What? Oh. Your conscious pursuit of identity is ignorant. You will never be what was. You shall never coincide with what shall be. And besides, that noise, that's just disgusting. Sounds like you can't handle my infinite nature. Give it up, Merceau. You are really starting to sh me. Never makes a sound. Who gives a sh When's Gotto getting here?